student advisor Cecily White recommends the standout Mexican food at her favorite spot. For wood-fired plates and a great happy hour, she heads to El Mezcal Cantina in Point Breeze. Mi nombre es Eladio Soto Sánchez. Soy el chef de Mezcal Cantina. Exactamente tenemos un año y medio. Algo que nos distingue mucho es que pusimos un aguachile bar que realmente en México pues ahorita es muy popular y bueno yo lo quise traer en Filadelfia. Los sabores y los ingredientes es o sea, aquí manejo 100% natural lo que es tradicional de México. Acá los platos más de populares lo que yo tengo son tacos al pastor que realmente nosotros lo hacemos en el trompo el molcajete que es bien este, tradicional, que le ponemos cuatro diferentes carnes, los camarones a la parrilla, es, este, vienen con una mantequilla que es de mezcal, chile de árbol, limón. Aproximadamente como 17 años cocinando, empecé de preparador y ahora ya soy un chef. ¿no? Cecily, El Mezcal Cantina is great for all occasions. Why did you pick it? El Mezcal is a newish restaurant. It opened about a year and a half ago in the Point Breeze neighborhood of South Philly. I would say it's like a casual restaurant with sit-down service, but the, the food and the experience that you have is a five-star. And one of your go-tos, which you did get this last yes. time, is the Agua Chile. Yes, yes, yes. So they have a whole section where you can sit and watch the chefs prepare the agua chile, which is similar to ceviche, the fresh fish marinated in like a really spicy habanero and lime and cucumber uh, marinade. And it's just super fresh, super delicious, really bright and beautifully prepared. Gunjin, you kicked off your meal with guacamole, very classic. Super fresh, it was delicious. They did it right, the whole family ate it. It's not always, you know, the avocados are ripe in the right way, but they had just the right mix of everything with a little bit of spice. And John, you had some nachos. How were the nachos? Oh, excellent. They were, I think it was a homemade tortilla or, um, you know, nacho that they gave you. It was really good, crispy, um, some crema on top with, I believe it was cojito or something else on there, but it was really good. It was very flavorful. Did that chicken. come with chicken? Oh, yeah, yeah, it came yeah. with chicken. Some good chicken. It seemed like it was marinated. It was really, really good. We got the queso fundido, which oh, is yeah. melted cheese, mm -hmm. and there's, um, I think, poblano and onion on it, mm -hmm. and it's melty. It was it was perfect. I was not sure about being a fan of fusion food because it was Mexican and pizza, and I'm like, how good is this going to taste? Well, we got the one that had pineapple and al pastor, al pastor. cilantro, yes. Yes. and it was really good. Even <laughs> yeah. my children liked it. Yeah. So, oh, John, yeah. you went classic. You got I a margarita classic. pizza. Yeah. yeah, I went with the margarita. It was good. Nice, nice crust on there. Um, it was really tasty. It seemed like the basil was uh, real fresh on top of it, and and had a little bite to it too. So I think that wood fire really kicked it off a little yeah. bit for the crust. There is a couple of people here who got the mocha Oh yeah. You had it. What what came inside yeah, of your mocha hete? It's, it's amazing. I think this is like the standout and I was star of the show. Basically it's like this large stone bowl that they cook in the wood fired oven and filled with like cheese and beans and like a amazing smoky tomato sauce, yes. salsa, I don't even know like what, how to describe it, it's so good, but then they cook chorizo, chicken, steak, prawns, cactus, and like a whole onion yeah. in there, and it's just kind of like beautifully wrapped around the sides, and then you get it with fresh tortillas it's to make your loaded. own tacos. It's loaded, it's Was insane. yours the same uh, way? It was, it was, it was excellent. The head on shrimp was what did it for me. You know, you got, there's not a lot of places that do the head on yes. shrimp, and you get the extra flavor from that, and. I'm not scared to get my hands dirty when I get into there, so I literally ripped the head off, <laughs> jammed my thumb down the side, and just tore Sucked into it. it. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Gunjin, in addition to the Al Pastor pizza, what else did you get? Uh, we got the tacos de trompo. I actually didn't realize that that meat was cooked on a spit. It was um, really tender, and that was gone in a flash. <laughs> there yeah. was like three tacos. Every Everybody ate one and shared one, so I really liked those. We also got the whole fish, oh. um, which... Mm. Also surprising to get in kind of a local neighborhood restaurant. And it was um, really flaky, really easy to eat. They already kind of had it filleted open. And so mm. it's impressive. I mean, how many places can you get yeah. a whole cooked fish? So it was delicious. 
sounds like a lot of these things were crowd pleasers for the kids because you dined mm. with three children. We're trying to introduce them to different foods, and this was a great opportunity because there was always fallback pizza, mm -hmm. there's always nacho chips, but then you can take it a step further with trying these different salsas that are on yeah. the food, um, the you know the pulley cheese, trying things in a little bit in a different way, which I think was super accessible for them. Cecily, how are the wings? They were awesome. So they were part of the happy hour uh, menu. The wings were cooked in the oven with the fire, so you got that smoky flavor. They were tossed in like a buffalo like sauce with some Mexican spices. It was phenomenal. And for dessert, Cecily, you got a concha. Yeah, so this you have to order a little bit in advance. It can't be like, because they put it into the oven as like raw dough and then it cooks there. It's a bread cooked in a skillet with like a sugar kind of crust topping on top. And it was tres leches, so it was over a Ooh, layer exactly of enough. tres leches, like custard, and then some whipped cream and ice cream and strawberries wow. on top. Wow. Sounds great. Yeah, Decadent. it was great. Good to share for the table. Like, you could definitely eat it yourself if you, if you have the room, but definitely a great shareable dessert. John, how were your churros? Uh, that, I said that the mocajete was the star, but I might have been lying. <laughs> because the churros were absolutely phenomenal. They were filled with, I guess it was maybe like a dulce de leche or something okay. in there, caramel. I, I, don't, I don't even know what it was. It could have been a cream. I don't, it was amazing though. They were really good. <laughs> I tore them up, they were fresh. Again, I think they were made right there in house and um, it was just a really, really nice dish. It was tender, like you bit, a little crunch, but the inside was just really soft. And then when you hit that, sauce that was in there oh my god it was amazing for drinks you got a mango chamoy yes how was it, it the drinks are on point they have yeah. a small bar area where you can just sit at the bar but you can also order um like mixed drinks with fresh juices fresh lime you can tell and um they don't shy away from using tahine on the on the mm -hmm. cup and um they're really really delicious drinks i mean i think that the drinks in the food rival any center city restaurant i think it's a so exciting to find something that's in a residential neighborhood that is accessible to all different people in a neighborhood rather than having to necessarily go downtown. So the drinks are really good. Yeah. And of course, can't go without a margarita. Yeah. <laughs> that's um, classic. I have spent a lot of time uh, eating and drinking at home this fall, but um, my favorite and my go-to is usually the Alpa store drink, which is um, the smoked pineapple that they cook in oh. the wood-fired oven. And then they add mezcal in there and have a, yeah, the spicy salt rim. It's phenomenal. It's so good. And then the other one I get is the uh, La Quintana, which is their hibiscus and uh, pomegranate cocktail, which is basically like it's their margarita with those two flavors. And I usually will sub tequila for mezcal because I love mezcal. So yeah, it's great. It's like sweet, spicy, um, super refreshing. Like you said, like the, the flavors are really fresh, really bright. Let's talk a little bit about the vibes. What did you think of the ambiance, John? I thought it was a cool place. The oven with the wood fire in there kind of created a different feel because it was right there when you walk in and it greeted you. I thought it was cool. The service was really good mm -hmm. and they had um, I feel nowadays at some restaurants, you feel like everyone's like, we're always short staffed, but I did not feel that there. It was a really high level of service. Yeah. Oh, Cecily, El Mezcal Cantina is your pick. Sum yes. it up for us. All right, El Mezcal is a gem amongst beautiful jewels. I don't know, <laughs> but it, it basically, it's like, it's one of those restaurants that punches way above its weight. Like, okay. you know, you're gonna get a five-star experience um, when you walk in with a really casual, welcoming vibe, so. Definitely everyone should go check it out. And John, what are your final thoughts? Wood fire oven, pizza, churros. I mean, you can't go wrong. It was a cool spot. And Gunjan, what's the final takeaway? I mean, family friendly, um, great neighborhood spot. The ceviche, which is like, once again, getting fresh seafood, fresh fish in the middle of the city, amazing. So definitely a recommendation for everyone. Plan your own visit to El Mezcal Cantina, located at 1260 Point Breeze Avenue in Philadelphia, 215-782-0251. Reservations are accepted, and the average tab per person without drinks is $30.